Okay, so now we've got audience attention. How do we turn that attention into like leads, contacts, relationships, you know, um, that will help your business or your initiative uh, or your the thing that you're driving towards? Attention into leads. How do we turn attention into leads? So many uh, social media platforms, they support the story feature that allows you to post 15 second video clips that exist for 24 hours. And I want to be clear, and I think I need to turn off the graphics for this. Stories are the most powerful video funnel tool available on the internet today. Honestly, you almost never see who watched a video in a post. But stories give you the contact names and you don't need a fee in order to use them. In fact, if you have multiple 15 second stories, it'll also tell you exactly who watched the first video, the second one, the third one and the fourth video, because it'll split into four different videos. And this is exactly what makes the video funnel so powerful. Your 60 second preview is the ideal source for this video story funnel. Using free apps like split video, it's easy to divide the 60 second preview into four 15 second segments. So four different videos that are 15 seconds or less each. Now, after you upload each segment uh, to your story, uh, they're going to be live for 24 hours. And the real power comes from how you use the video funnel data. Now, the video data makes it easy to see who maybe accidentally viewed your story from those who are actually interested. Um, but maybe they're not at the level that they feel comfortable like liking, commenting, or sharing this post. Like I've got a bunch of people online today and maybe you don't feel comfortable uh, liking, sharing, or commenting about this post. That's okay, right? Like we're a judgment-free community. Uh, but in general, people who watch the second or third or fourth video, they're, they're showing a genuine interest in your content. Like they actually care about your stuff. And you have their attention. And honestly, like that's half the battle. Like, you might be thinking, I mean, who cares? Like if they consume my content, it doesn't mean that they're necessarily going to like buy anything or they're going to like follow my movement or they're going to be helpful in any way. Uh, but a useful guide from Denlock is that for every $1,000 purchase from your clients, they need to consume at least an hour of content, $1,000 for one hour of content, like one hour of content they have to have consumed in order to be convinced that it's worthwhile to, to, to make that $1,000 purchase. And so if we flip it around, what that means is that every minute of content consumed should be worth around $16 of sales to you, right? So that person who is investing that kind of level of time, right? Like they're, they're looking for, well, what should I purchase? Like, what is the right thing? Um, so I hope that helps. Are you seeing how powerful that is and how powerful that can be? the 60 second video preview turned into a video funnel is one of the most powerful attention funnels that I've seen on the internet. Now, keep in mind, 24 hours is not a lot of time. And I know you're you're busy people. <laughs> like you guys are all busy. Everybody's got like so many things going on. It's like, Maybe you don't have time to write down those names uh, of the people who view your videos. If you don't have time, I'd recommend just take a screenshot, right? So you just like, you know, screen capture, you press the two buttons on your, on your phone, and then you can process that data later. And I've found that what's most useful is like you just have, find one uh, time a week 
that you can follow up on the data uh, that you've collected. And by follow up, I mean like, and it's important. This is like, it's important to follow up that in the same week uh, while the like the attention is still top of mind because they 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 watched you they get you they they're following you and they're like oh okay you know maybe there's some stuff that's useful here but just try to like keep it within within the same week if you're able you know the money or the the following or the movement it's all in the follow up most people are aware that this data already exists but they don't do anything with it. So the key is that every call to action, no matter what it is, has got to benefit your audience like right now, like today. So keep in mind, like you're trying to build a relationship. Um, and so asking what's going to benefit them the most in this time is, is so, so valuable as a starting point. And that's why I, I, I push this, like emphasize this, like we're not here to sell anybody anything. We are just here to build relationships. And if we treat it like that, rather than, oh, I must sell you something, um, I think we're going to benefit, like the other, other people are going to be much more appreciative of what we do. Um, and I think really it's like you're, you're trying to help them with their goals. So why would that be a problem? Right? If you told them, hey, go and check this out, it's going to help you. Hey, here's how it's going to help you. And that's something I, I had to learn like the hard way, because, you know, if you start pushing any type of like, oh, you got to go and do this and do that, like it doesn't benefit them. They're not going to want to to do that in return. Um, it, it just made it more clear, like, what do we need to do in order to support support people in this time? Go and check out. Russell Brunson's book. Um, it, a lot of the stuff that I mentioned today is derived from his Traffic Secrets book. Um, Traffic Secrets is a like he's kind of the big ClickFunnels founder, and from there, like a lot of stuff is kind of just a, a combination. Like he talks a little bit about stories. I don't think he talks about stories as a funnel, uh, but I do think that like a, a video funnel is just an evolution of like your typical sales funnel. Uh, where people go from awareness to interest to desire and ultimately to action. Uh, so, you know, keep in mind, like, this is very similar, but this is not trying to get people to an action. It's just trying to get people to um, just more awareness before they take that action. And and that's important to keep in mind. Like, your your job is not to to sell them something. Your your job is just to get them maybe to click on something or maybe just go the next step. Like, you, you don't need to, you don't need to be pushy. <laughs>